Okay, so I want to show you a really easy technique to make these kind of um, like desolate, rocky sort of landscapes. It's the kind of thing where you can kind of just take any light and just put it over top and it kind of always looks cool. So here's an example of that. So yeah, and that one I used the exact technique pretty much that I'm going to show you here. So basically what this is, is we're, the basic idea here is we're just going to take a plane, uh, put a texture on it with displacement, and then just put another texture layered on top basically. And then that's what's going to give us um, this, this kind of look. So first of all, let me add that in. Let's go to rendered view. And um, so you can do this with paid textures, but I'll just show you with free stuff too. So just to show you that it doesn't uh, like, it's nicer to have like 4k textures, but I'll just use a, a free one from textures.com. Um, Cause it, it does, it does work, but it's just more annoying. So anyways, uh, just take that, import it, apply this texture. Uh, so I actually forgot to mention what this was. Basically, if you just go to this website here, textures.com, uh, go to the search bar, just type in rock. Um, just pick any one of these. I think I chose this one right here. This is the texture I'm using in this video. You just download the 1080p versions of all these. So just get this texture for free here. Um, that's all I'm using here. And so there we go. We have it on here, but I just want to actually turn on the displacement because it's flat right now. So let's do a subdivision. Just turn it to simple and adaptive. And if you don't see adaptive, just make sure you switch this uh, underneath where you change it to cycles, just switch that to uh, the experimental feature set. Otherwise you don't get an adaptive subdivision. Okay, so that's on there and it's now subdividing, but it's not actually displacing it. So just scroll down to settings in the material thing here, uh, material properties, settings, displacement, just change that to one of these two, displacement and bump. Okay, so it's now working. Let's just apply the scale so that the scale is uh, actually working properly. And right away, you'll notice like close to the camera here, it gets really just blurry and nasty. So we have to, this is where 4K textures comes in nice if you want to pay for that. But if you're choosing free stuff, you kind of have to work around it by just scaling this up a lot. Uh, so let's just do that and then just turn the strength down a bit. So the more I scale it up, you can see the more it's repeating. Uh, let's actually just do this here, which is not good. We don't want this uh, you, you've probably seen this in like video games before and it just this never looks good just having repeating textures um, especially when it's your entire floor so there's a few ways to deal with that and one of them is first of all let's just take a noise texture and mix that into where mix that into the displacement map so here's the displacement map that came with the texture just put a noise texture and just drop a mix rgb node in there and then just change this to like multiply um, and just turn that all the way up. And then with this noise texture, I'll just tweak the settings and maybe scale higher, detail higher, roughness slightly higher. And then let's just use a color ramp and just drop that in there and just kind of bring that up. Something like that will be fine. Okay. So if I go to camera view, if I just drop this down a little, that helps a bit, but it's still, you can still tell it's repeating. Like if I take this out, you can see if I just hide those, um, it's a bit like slightly less obvious that it's repeating because the displacement is like changing the, the height of random areas, but it's not helping that much. So the easiest way to deal with this is you just take another texture. In this case, I'll just use water. So if I just drop that in, if you're not sure how to do that, I just made like the last video I did was on this like, exact thing. Just creating water like this instantly. Uh, so go watch that if you're curious about that. Basically this, if you just have it intersecting with another texture, could be just another like plane of like some other dirt or grunge or whatever kind of texture, just drop that in. Um, and that will be enough to break up the pattern so that you, it hides certain areas randomly so that you can't tell exactly that it's repeating. Uh, so it looks like it's still really low res here. So I might have to scale it up a little bit more and I might have to, that's a bit much, might have to tweak the noise texture to be a little bit different. So I don't know, something like that is fine. 
And let's take the displacement down a little bit because it's still a little bit high. And yeah, there we go. Good enough. Now there's a couple things I want to do. So one, I'll just go to the world settings and just delete that so that it's pitch black. And then let's just replace it with some kind of light source. So I'll just do a plane, make that uh, emissive. So just make it, I don't know, just turn that on white. Good. And we'll just scale that up and just turn up the strength. Okay, so that is fine. I might make this water a little bit more murky so that it's harder to see through it. There we go. That helps the uh, displacement a little bit as well. And then let's also just tweak the roughness of this rock texture. So just drop a color ramp into where the roughness map goes into this thing. So just take the uh, this handle up a little bit. And I want it to be like a little bit reflective, a little bit wet. So yeah, that's kind of cool. And then if it's too much, you can just take the specular slider down a little bit. So all the way off is just gonna be like that. Up slightly is just gonna give you a little bit of that. So that's kind of cool. And maybe let's do a cooler light. Let's just turn off the uh, grid floor. So for this light, uh, well, actually, first of all, let's do volumetrics. So just add a cube. Uh, you can see I'm just regular cube over everything. New texture, delete this, take a volume scatter, just plug that in. Turn the density to like 0.01. If you if you tweak the density and you can't see it pop up here, if you just scroll in and out, that'll that'll update it and you'll be able to see it. Okay, let's turn up the uh, anisotropy to like 0.7 and display as bounds on this thing. Okay, so let's make this light source more interesting so that we have something cooler than white. Uh, let's just take any any photo. Where's my fish? Here it is. Okay, so fish in, there we go. Plug that into the alpha. Uh, let's just apply the scale, unwrap it, and let's take a color ramp as well. Color ramp, drop that in here. Just take this up, lovely. And let's also just move the UV map around so that I can have my fish like somewhere here, maybe flip it around. And let's inset this, delete that interface, and cool. Let's also take that into the color, the emission color, and let's mix in like, I don't know, uh, multiply in like some, some more blue or something. I'll just take that up. Cool. Ooh, that's nice. And then just take up the strength a lot. There we go. Um, art. So there you go. You can see like there's pretty much unlimited things that you could do with this um, to make this look cool. Like let's, uh, let's just full screen this. There's yeah, there's unlimited directions you could go in from here, um, you know, but it's just if you just have this kind of texture underneath it, pretty much anything you put on top that's glowing is going to look cool, as you can see here with my fish. Um, but yeah, try different stuff. Try like actually spending time on, on the, your design here. And then, yeah, this is kind of like this technique alone can like carry you pretty far in, in 3d art. So, um, yeah, go use this, make some cool stuff. Um, yeah, that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next one and uh, peace.